This is Charlotte, my daughter. She's six. She doesn't look like your typical marijuana user, but this is what Charlotte Figgy looks like when she doesn't use marijuana. Suffering from a rare form of epilepsy called Dravet syndrome, she's dealt with violent seizures since she was a newborn, as many as 300 seizures a week. Uh, this is Charlotte's medicine. When more than a dozen pharmaceuticals failed, her desperate mom tried a last resort last year, cannabis oil, medical marijuana. It's potent, it's strong, it's like a, not, I don't want to say spicy, but it's got some kick. The results have been astounding. Charlotte who'd been unable to walk or talk or eat was now dancing and playing and down to just two or three seizures a week. She failed everything. Everything had been tried except cannabis. Charlotte's story will get national attention this weekend as part of a CNN documentary called Weed. It's sparking a coast-to-coast -coast debate about whether pot is harmful or helpful. There was nothing that was going to stop us from helping that family. For Josh Stanley, there is no debate. When we met Charlotte, she was a, a catatonic child. She couldn't get out of her wheelchair. She couldn't eat. She couldn't swallow. And now, you know, she's off all of her pharmaceuticals. Stanley's company custom developed the strain of cannabis used to treat the little girl. It's now being used to treat dozens of other kids, too. They call it Charlotte's Web. They also set up a nonprofit called Realm of Caring to help pay for other desperate families to move to Colorado where their epileptic kids can legally be treated. At six, Charlotte may seem young, but she's hardly the youngest. There are about 40 kids in Colorado with medical marijuana cards, the youngest less than a year old. All of them benefiting, their families would tell you, from a once unthinkable remedy. Just living a normal life, it's 100% it's different.